yes uh, sure krishna yeah thank you sir so good afternoon everyone i am krishna milkantwa uh, working as a incubation manager at ankurjika incubation center foundation which is a section 8 company uh, a private incubator registered under government college of engineering aurangabad through which we are supporting the innovative ideas of our institute and we are nurturing them to convert into their own venture so i welcome the team of uh, emertic innovations and uh, all participants in our today's uh, session that is interaction with uh, successful entrepreneurs uh, that is organized in association with institutes innovation council and ankurjika incubation center foundation of government college of engineering aurangabad Uh, so welcome all. So we are having uh, uh, Kaurav sir, then Ati ma'am, Parip sir, Danish sir, uh, then Gunwant sir and Sushil sir from Emertic Innovations in our today's session. So also I request uh, all participants that uh, this is the interactive kind of session. So whenever you are uh, you want to ask any type of question, so you can just raise your hand so that I can unmute yourself to ask you a question. So. uh i would like to introduce you uh, to the team of emertech innovations so uh under emertech innovations they are working on a project called agro trust so the vision of agro trust is uh, to empower the small land holding farmers the backbone of our uh, indian society and for that they are creating technology based the transparent supply chain mechanism for agro products and produce strengthening the ecosystem by using technologies such as blockchain ai iot providing a fintech solutions like uh, fair insurance and also providing certifications for yield quality via their platform so this is in brief about the product of emotic emotic uh, innovation that is the agro trust and uh, we are having team with us so uh, here we are having Gaurav Somunshi sir with us. So he is alumni of uh, Government College of Engineering, Aurangabad. Also co-founder of Emertech Innovations, which is incubated at IIT Bombay. So he did his uh, post graduation from IIM Lucknow and graduation from Computer Science Engineering Department of Government College of Engineering, Aurangabad. So he extensively uh, worked with the uh, various state governments and also uh, nominated as leadership. innovation fellow with royal academy of engineering united uh, kingdom uk and then also he selected as a dalai lama fellow by university of uh, virginia and currently working with mr vilas shinde chairman of sayadri farm which is india's largest farm collective to develop blockchain solutions uh, for more than 10000 farmers so this is in brief about the gaurav sir so over to you sir uh thank you so much uh, krishna uh, for giving us all this opportunity uh, it's a very special thing to come back uh, to our college and uh, share the journey and, and even more so special because uh, three of the participants within those journey are right here in the call itself uh, danish arti arib from jika uh, sushrut and uh, gunwant they will also talk about themselves in uh, in due course of time so what i wanted was to uh, take this opportunity and share that many i'm not i'm not an authority on uh, giving a session on conceptions and misconceptions on a startup or pros and cons of this life and that life or uh, the myths of startup or anything but what i can do definitively is uh, share how it worked for me everyone would have their own individual journeys and opinions so whatever i say would be strictly applicable to me as it as i learned from my mistakes and as i did uh, uh, some courageous steps thankfully so that i could not uh, so that i did not get stuck in a single place and so what i'll do is uh, i'll explain it also with the help of uh, some slides because a visual aid would help me in explaining my point better so can you see me it is visible yes sir it's visible okay okay so just briefly within 5 minutes uh, i did my engineering from computer science jika 2007 to 11 batch uh, not a first class 
and uh, I had uh, quite a bit of backlogs in first and second year as well. Uh, then immediately I got joined the MBA in IIM Lucknow. Uh, over there, thankfully, I did uh, quite well. I was in the top 10%. But uh, while working in IIM Lucknow, it was expected of me to join a corporate job as that is the whole point. And I had no prior work experience since I had joined directly from uh, IIM, uh, from Jika to IIM. So I had joined as a fresher. So there was a lot of pressure that I should gain some work experience in a corporate environment. Uh, but the kind of friends that I had and the kind of reading that I did and the kind of people that I met outside the MBA, uh, I decided to not do all of that. And remember that I am joining and I am, today it might be a loan of around 20 to 25 lakhs. That time it was a loan of around 12 lakhs. And so there was, uh, EMI was about to begin. So how can I not join a job and still have an EMI? So that's what I did. I got a job offer from Wolf Hollins in Dubai and my primary job would have been to do marketing for the Olympics, but I decided not to join it uh, because I felt primarily that I need to focus more and more upon growth at this moment. So what I did was I began my NGO. I, I decided that if I don't do any, if I don't follow my ideals right now, then later on might not be the uh, right time for me to do anything. Uh, am I audible, Krishna? Yes, you are audible. Okay, okay, yes. So, at that time, at that point in time, my ideal was, you know, doing something for science education. And uh, the scientist that I used to love was Carl Sagan. So I made an NGO with just me as a founding partner initially and named it Saganite Science Education Association. And I started uh, taking up projects and teaching. Uh, that helped me. So the, that itself was uh, quite a short and big success because it helped me to pay back all of my loan within a single year and also all of my expenses. Uh, so what happened at that point in time is my classmates from IIM who had joined jobs, they saw that I was doing quite well as an NGO. So four of them, and at that point in time, they were working in big jobs in Amazon, Flipkart, um, and uh, PwC. So they, we just sat together because we were all in touch, and we decided what if we turn that NGO idea of science education and 